So welcome to our 22nd Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make your programs look a bit more professional using splash screens and if you don't know what a splash screen is it's basically that little window that pops up before you before a program is loaded up which basically tells you the name and sometimes they will actually load the program I'll show you an example with uh, Word so you get this box here it's just a brief box for all about two seconds and it just basically tells you um, that it's Word, it's made by Microsoft just gives gives you some information about it so that's what we're going to be doing so this is going to be my actual main program so I'm going to put a few labels in put a list box in just put whatever you want, menu strips domain up, combo box, buttons check boxes so this is the prog the amazing program that I've just made and I'm make going to make this more professional so just change the text of the form to my amazing software or whatever you want like that Th so that, as I said that's going to be the actual program window that will be loaded up now I need to create the actual form for the splash screen so go to add new item and if you scroll down they've actually come with a, a pre-built splash screen but I'm just going to use a standard windows form since you can play around with that but it doesn't look very nice it's not very good so I'm going to change the text of this to splash dot vb so the name of it I mean resize this now the first thing we want to do is remove this big blue um, like the windows styles of it so just click on the form and you want to select form border style and set this to none so as you can see that's removed the border so you haven't got the close minimize maximize restore those kind of buttons anymore it's just that blank form so now we've got more space to work with so now what I'm going to do is put an image a picture box and this is going to hold the main background picture and I'm going to dock in parent container, change the image, uh, project resource file, and import one. I've just got a picture of my dog, which I used in the previous tutorial, or one of my dogs. Just select it. And again, like in the one of the previous tutorials about picture boxes, this is very zoomed in. It's a high resolution picture. So, what we need to do is change the size mode to zoom and just kind of stretch this however you want select the, f the splash kind of make this the right size so like that put a label in change this label text to my amazing program change the font and change this to about 20 not 20 hash 20 so that's basically going to be my splash screen you can put whatever you want in here you can make it you can use photoshop and make a nice background design for it you can do whatever you want with, with this but that's all I'm going to be doing for this tutorial so now you want to go up to project and windows application one properties and you want to select splash screen and splash or whatever you named your form so select that close this so no programming or anything required in this tutorial run it we've got the splash screen appearing there and then the software loads up and this is my amazing software so thank you for watching, uh, for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found it useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.